Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 12, 2016, our word for discussion is desperately. 1 Samuel 4.10, so the Philistines fought desperately and Israel was defeated again. 30,000 men of Israel died that day and the remainder fled to their tents. 2 Samuel 13.1, Prince Absalom, David's son, had a beautiful sister by the name of Tamar, and Prince Amon, her half-brother, fell desperately in love with her. Jeremiah 17.9, the heart is the most deceitful thing there is, and desperately wicked, no one can really know how bad it is. Jeremiah 22, 24-25, and as far as you, Kaniah, son of Jerichim, king of Judah, even if you were wear the signet ring on your right hand, I will pull you off and give you to those who seek to kill you, of whom you are so desperately afraid, to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his mighty army. In Daniel 9, 20 through 22, even while I was praying and confessing my sin and the sins of my people, desperately pleading with the Lord my God for Jerusalem, his holy mountain, Gabriel, whom I had seen in earlier vision, flew swiftly to me at the time of the evening sacrifice, and said to me, Daniel, I am here to help you understand God's plans. Here's what I'm getting when Israel was disobedient to God, and God didn't fight their battles for them. They were desperately defeated. Amen, the half-brother of Tamar, desperately fell in love with her and raped her. Her brother Absalom ended up killing him for this. Many were afraid of the Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel desperately placed, pleaded with the Lord for Jerusalem. The angel Gabriel gave Daniel the plans of God. And I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.